Welcome back everybody to another video here in Archive Gaming. This is Romance of the Three Kingdoms 14 and the scenario we're playing is the rise of Liu Kui as Liu Kui himself. So picking up where we left off. We're fighting this two front war from the right side of Jing all the way to the western Shu. So on both pretty much both flanks if you look at it one over here one over there both are crucial difficult battles and uh, I guess logically the Liu Zhang battle would end first but who knows right so yeah right now we're trying to save our siege weapon got surrounded um, don't think we're gonna make it but we can at least try to inflict some casualties while they're still in the field and then I'm thinking we might run our guys back oh that was nice okay we might run our guys back to uh, these guys to feed Fushui gates and over on the right side we're just gonna wait a little bit before we can uh, Oh boy. Zang ranks close and then. Okay, I'm gonna do that. It's kind of a bummer because if we were a little bit faster, um, I do feel like we would have been able to uh, eliminate Liu Zhang, but we were kind of slow. So we kind of missed a good opportunity because the last time uh, Zhang Lu was marching against Liu Zhang. So we had a chance. We had a real good chance. Well, he was gone up here to attack. And uh, I still think it's only a matter of time. We, sh we should win. It's just... He's just costing us so much time. Okay, we just have some restraint. That's kind of... Whack. This order would be a lot better. Train. No. Maybe over here. Okay. That'll work. Okay. Let's see how it's looking over here. Jing. Okay. He queezed just up and left. Okay. He was deployed right here. I guess he's decided to... Bow wow. Okay. So... Move her back a step. And, um... <laughs> I don't think I can surround this guy. She's probably... She's in ring formation, so it's going to be way too slow. Uh, so I think I'm going to have her drop back a little bit. Let him get a little bit closer. And then I'll have her charge forward. Hi. Nanda. Okay, and then the same thing here with... We just want him to get a little bit closer. Just to be a few hexes away from Lujian. Hmm. And now the question is, should we deploy help? Because hmm. I feel like, I feel like uh, any moment now he's going to deploy more troops. Okay, we've got three people trying to recruit Lu Bu. Why not send another? <clears throat> Might as well. Okay, our suggestions. I already checked those. Let's see, we have to search. One thing that should help too is the passage of time. We have enough territory that as time goes on we should see some uh, much better officers appear it's probably just gonna take a little bit of time but maybe a year maybe two years who knows but I'm anticipating that we should see some mm, I would say at least at least B tier we should get some B tier officers you know, as the years roll by in these territories, at least. Okay. 
here. So yeah, not too much to do. We're just uh Ooh, let's try to train. We're almost at level eight on our doctrine. Who can we train in with what? Let's see some of our Spire seems good. Not that he should ever have to use it really because he's got the instrumentalist trait, but. Wild shot. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Wild shot. Okay, let's go. Uh, actually, not disturb. Let's go. Uh... Just give. Let's do a few charges, since those are the ones that we find all the time. Okay, he's got one already. Search. Okay, so Kang's our guy there. Did we wipe this guy out yet? We did not. Well, we would have had him already. Okay, so the question is can the three of us beat this guy down? I don't think so. Anybody reckless here? Heedless? Yeah, let's have him wait, because I don't think he's going to be able to do... Actually, let's have him... Wait, and he can advance. Oh, uh, one step. <clears throat> Okay, looks like nobody, he's not going to advance either, so. Okay, I don't really think we have enough gas to take this guy out. So, we're just going to move everybody back. Oh, confused. All right, cool. 
Let's see if it'll work, but at least we got the we got the recommendation that time. Probably move some of these troops up already. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking we should just wait for uh wait for Huan Zong to heal up and then uh Wow, six, two months? Okay, hold on. Two months. If we have the supplies, okay, we do. So, let's just march somebody over there. He's got arrow. No, no, he doesn't have arrow. Hmm. Okay, let's just call somebody over then from Chengdu. Fastest I think we're gonna have then is gonna be Wuju and how long is it gonna take him? Two turns to get here, um two turns to get here and then how many other turns to get out? No matter what, it's going to take two turns. Okay, I guess we'll just send the transport. Yeesh, I was kind of hoping for something a little bit faster. It's really slow. Okay. Well, I think the next level of tech, once we get it from... Uh, from the foreign forces then uh, we should be able to increase the speed of transport at least so gonna need a new advisor because uh, he got captured his next best would be his brother I believe Yeah, we can slightly increase the speed of the transport also. Okay, yeah, so we'll have them withdraw. And then we'll have them keep pushing and see if we can capture Panzang. It's entirely possible. The only thing is, if he deploys more people from Lujiang, then we'll have to try to withdraw. And uh, also reinforce.
Okay, well, we should be able to take them out next turn. Okay, so he is going to give chase, so... So if he'll follow us under the tower... So I'm thinking he will. God, no, we have no troops over in Chu. We have none. Position gold, decrease morale, confuse, um, train in Chengdu. Okay, now it's pretty much caught up now. So let's see how it goes here. Should check up our alliances also. Okay, we captured Panzang, that's good. heading down here. Time for us to go. Domestics. Okay, that's all pretty much all we got. City, city uh, durability, so. I wonder if Wanzong's healed enough to try to, uh, head over there. He could do something. Okay, he is, so... Let's see. First, let's see if we have a training... Chengdu. Okay, which we do. So, let's do that first. And then let's give him a title, and then we can send Wanzong out there. And uh, who knows, he might be able to, he might be able to route uh, Zhang Ren. Only thing I'm not sure of is if I should make him the Jundan uh, yet or not. I feel like, let's see, it would take two turns. So, no. Thinking, no. Hmm. This is how we want to do that. OK, 
Okay, so let's have him run over. This mighty God Bow. Yeah, they're just gonna have to hightail it out of there. And so I'm pretty sure Zhang Ren is the one who's got our advisor captured. So if we're able to route him, and that's a big if, it's not a guarantee at all. But if we're able to route him, then we'll get our advisor at least out of there. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Our guys on the right side, they should be able to get away. And Jin Dong, they should be able to retreat safely. Hopefully he can get away and rebuild the tower, finish building the tower at least. Mm, doesn't look like it though. We just caught him. <laughs> we just caught Chin Dao. Have mercy. Oh Lord. Well, as long as he doesn't get killed, right? There's hope, so. He was injured though, that's not good. Okay, no worries, because Guangzong's almost there. I don't think he'll be able to withdraw, but you can always try. Yeah, let's raise his morale so that hopefully he has a tactic ready to go. And then let's try... Mm, can we try both? It's gonna take all our gold. I feel like restraint is, is the more important one. Train and Muling. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay, transport's probably still three turns away. I'm guessing. Okay, so with Zoutlay, what I want to do is get her under the... Whoop, not demolish. Definitely not demolish. Just want to get her under the tower. So Kang, I think, has... I'm pretty sure he's got the... Uh, Panzang captured. Yeah, he does. Okay. So I want to deliver him over. And then depending on if he pursues or not, because he might not. I don't know if I should keep her here. Let's see. I don't know. I feel like that's semi-e though. That's... This guy's, he's got the potential to wreck everything. Everybody and everything. Okay, so let's do this. Let's send the ship out. Probably our best guy is going to be this guy. I think he's... I think he's Liu Biao's like, uh... Second best... Uh, Navy commander. Right behind the uh, Huang Zhu. 
think he's one of the ones that got killed because of Zoyu's uh, plot. Which was pretty cool. Pretty cool the way Zoyu just crippled his... Saltal's ability to uh, have a navy by taking out his only guys who knew how to use the navy properly. Okay, so let's reward. Boy, let's see. It's at 79 now. Maybe we'll have some luck now. Okay. Let's check our alliances. Let's see. Two months with Cao Cao. Okay, so we gotta fix that. Okay, I wish that transport was a little bit faster. And I just and I just buffed it too by a little bit. I don't know what developing transport at level one does though, maybe five percent. Oh I failed. Jeez. I don't know why I was I was thinking it was so sure to work for some reason, but yeah, it was sixty percent, so I guess I should have tried Confuse as well. Ooh, you will not do as you please in our territory. That's a good. We cannot extend it. Oof. No bueno. Hang on a second. Are we only friendly? Uh, oh, we're only friendly. Okay. Well, we need to fix that. The city's just incredibly stacked with resources. Okay. Looks like he's withdrawing again. Turn her also. Um, still gonna have him go out a little bit just in case by the time he gets there, you know, situation could change or whatever. I feel like on that front, there it's always gonna be just any turn at any time, he can just deploy. Okay. We need supplies here. Mm, got a good amount, I guess. Okay, Cheng Dao's back. We'll see if Wang Zong can catch up to him. Hopefully, he can. And uh, hopefully, Wang Zong can put this, put this guy away, man, because he's been a terror. Beast. Okay, I don't think this guy's gonna play, so we'll probably just execute him.
Oh man, not a recruiter. Are you serious? Okay, well, it's just gonna come down to the god bow. He's gonna have to hit him with that. Okay, hopefully that puts this over. Hmm. Nothing really. We can decrease his morale, but I don't think it's gonna... I don't think he's gonna be able to get another tactic off. The fight will be decided by then, so... Okay, 15k here. How much gold? 24. Buy as many supplies as we can and keep sending them down. So let's go 14, 15, and maybe 28. Pass it along. Like he's gonna do anything, so I guess we'll call him back. Oh, we could send him to, re to take this because he's looking kind of looking kind of slim over here. So yeah, I'll send him over there. We could take it, maybe even build on that side. I'm not familiar with that coast there. I think that's Luke, Luke Su, uh port, right? So, mm, actually, not even sure. I know G, she's a good commerce. He's a good commerce guy. He might be one cannon. Oh, it's invest. Invest doesn't work out as well. Everyone else will give me like close to ten points. Yeah, that's Luku port. I don't know if I can build on this land. And I don't think you can see until you have it. But he's only got 11. He's got transports. So let's see. Oh, small. We might be able to land here and maybe build some stuff here just to kind of harass him a little bit. And let's get our alliance extended before I forget because... Oh, we're still only friendly. Okay. This is going to be kind of close then. This is the best we could send, I guess. 56 political, I mean. Okay. Where did we send those supplies from? I didn't, uh, didn't catch that. I didn't catch where we send the supplies from. Okay. Well, anyway, back to the Battle of the Titans over here. The very mountains of shoe shake. Oh, man, he's just bleeding me dry. Trusted, so that means we'll have to. Uh... And you never use Godbow. That's uh... that's kind of crazy. Okay, 
Let's get our alliance extended. Now we've got 13 here. It's our fastest guy with snake, I believe. Alright, arrow's a bit faster. Okay, well. Just transport it anyway. I don't think I'll be able to, like... I don't think I'll really be able to like push through and attack the city even if I route Zhang Reng. Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay. One of the things I noticed is the AI is a lot more willing to um, deploy units that have one or two K against you. And that's something that for me is very jarring. Like I'm not used to it. I'm usually, yeah, I usually think, okay, he's got seven K and his castle, you know, he's not going to sortie from the castle. So it kind of makes it to where figuring out when you can send a siege weapon safely it it throws a wrench into that whole plan because it's not as cut and dry as it used to be you know now he'll have like like i said he can have 7k or 6k and he'll deploy three little 1000 soldier units to carve up siege weapons and stuff like that which is actually kind of cool because it's exactly what i would do as a player and what i have done as a player because you know the matchup, right? So you know that you're going to be able to carve them up. Wow. Which is what he did right there. See, he deployed a couple of a couple of a thousand uh, units there. Just to make sure he could drive me off, which is cool. Yeah, I guess I should have made him redundant because I, I think I would have won that fight easily just by triggering one god bow. That fight would have been won. Okay, so let's send. Uh... Ooh, what's going on here? What is uh? Oh, she's trying to employ. Okay. All right. Just him by himself first, then. Okay. About to get there. That's cool. We got these guys moving. Great, great. Okay, let's transport some guys down. Or should we transport them over? Oh... Uh... Hmm, maybe over. It does take a long time, so. so. As long as we hold this, from what I understand, from what somebody had commented on the YouTube, um, since this belongs to Lu Jiang, for example, it's, 
it's going to be fought over. So we're, he's just always going to keep trying to encroach here. So it, basically you have to treat it as if at any time you could just have a full-blown war breakout. You know, where each side starts sending skirmishes and then before you know it, everyone's just, it's just a full-blown out war for that, for that little border. Or at least it started as that little border and then it just develops, you know. So to that end, I do kind of have to transport units, even if it doesn't look like it, just because by the time the transport gets there, I think it's at 70 days, so seven turns later, things could be totally different. So, kind of have to be on guard against that. Because he can certainly get closer to my cities a lot quicker, because he's got his ships. So he, when, when it comes to sending reinforcements or sending invasion forces, he can get there pretty quickly. Whereas me, I'm kind of working at a snail's pace all the time. What is she doing? She's got 5,000 soldiers. No idea. Ooh, man, if he would have gotten here a little bit sooner. I wonder if I can do something to these guys. Maybe keep them destroying the tower a little bit longer. Uh, I can try to confuse. Where's he at? Okay, he's right there. Let's try it. We might be able to send somebody out from here. Just to kind of attack these guys. And wipe out those units. Okay, yeah, so let's march out. Try to take it. We can build. Oh wow! We can build all over here. Okay. Build like uh, an arrow tower right next door, and let's get somebody good to start. We just got good area conquer. That's the highest we have is plus three. Him there. Wow, we maxed out a barracks. Wakata. UBL's position, you know, it's so it it can be interesting depending on the scenario, like for this one. It's really interesting because of everything that's going on and you have so many decisions in the early game that can kind of shape you know where everything goes and it's not for all of them he i think he's got some scenarios that are probably kind of pretty boring because everything's kind of you know there's not really any choices or anything to be made but like this one you really have some options and then the economy is so freeing because it, it gives you this ability to do kind of whatever you know it's kind of like what what do you want to do you know you can secure your economy and jink so easily then after that it's just like well what, what do you want to do where do you want to expand or what do you want to try or whatever and that's really cool 
but for me it feels really difficult to get anywhere as soon as you run into the slightest opposition you know oh my god whoever gets blue blues getting a promotion i'll tell you that if anybody ever gets them well i can't even get that guy he's he's got a 68 he's about ready to quit and we can't even get him Oof. Maybe they're gonna try to capture the uh I think her her deployment is just to take Lang Zong back. Okay, he's not deploying anybody or anything. I think you can catch him because he's trying to cross over the mountains. So we'll try to catch him. Also, Zhao Yi is back, and there was something I wanted to teach her, I just don't remember what it was. Was it charged? She's already got that. Mm, intelligence is a little bit low. I'm not disturbed, actually. Was it shout? I think it was shout. Okay. Nobody's taken out Yuan Shu. Very strange. I haven't looked at the map the whole time. Cao Cao's in trouble. I mean Cao Cao. Yuan Chao's in trouble. It's attacking on all fronts. I've never seen. Look at this carnage right here. So Cao Cao's heading towards Ye. Well, Yuan Shao's got some forces heading towards uh, Pu Yang. While he's also defending an assault from Kong Rong, while he's also being invaded from his top city by uh, Gong Zun Zhang. Yeesh. He's fighting everywhere. What is uh, Ma Tang doing? Looks like he's still trying to drive through and take the gates. I really hope Ma Tang can make some gains against Cao Cao in the long term. Yuan Chao is another one who's got like, who's got some really interesting scenarios. Um, but there's only a few of them, you know, just a small. I would say the one that I enjoy the most for him is uh, it was just recently added. It's the Lubu campaign 198, and that's because. Kong Sun Jang is pretty strong. He's pretty much at his strongest. And uh, the alliance with Cao Cao expires. So you have this situation that's playing out up there. It can happen fairly quickly. Where you're caught in a pincer. And you kind of have to defend on both sides. Okay. They're going to return, except for the Owl Formation. The Owl Formation is going to head out, so maybe we can go ahead and catch her. Okay, well, he needs to withdraw, because just leaving him in the dust. In the dust. Also, as I've learned the hard way, Arrow formation is uh, really bad on the mountains. Really slow. Like it's really hampered. It almost feels like a ring, like a ring formation. The maneuverability must, the penalty must be, although we can't see the stat, but the maneuverability penalty must be really, really rough because it feels like it. That's been a learning experience too. It's like getting used to that over here in Shu, that's been giving me a lot of trouble. Okay, so let's see. I think we have Meng Da here. Oh, we have Wang Ling. Okay. He will. S I don't know if he can do the job. We could go out there and fish formation. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'll just I'm gonna carry a few more troops. Okay, and then let's summon somebody back, some backup here from Chengdu because he needs somebody else. There's not really anybody else. Okay, I guess it'd have to be Jin Su, so. Could do. Go pay. Guys too, these guys are too far. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll wait for Meng. Where's Meng Da at? Returning to Fishui. Oh, okay. Meng Da is here. He's just he was just gone. Okay. Okay. I will just wait for him to return then. As long as looking kind of grouchy, I'd be too. Yeah, it just feels like as soon as you run into any type of opposition, you are up against it as Liu Biao, just because of your core officers. Although I did gimp, my, gimp myself slightly because I don't have uh Because of scrambling the officers, so... I don't have Ganing, don't have uh, Wen Pin, who I didn't know I wasn't going to have. I thought he was already a Liu Biao officer. I was looking forward to using him. Because he seems like a solid, you know, all around officer. Who is this? Okay. No, I'm going to do that. So I'm missing some officers, but his core is very, like, it's still very blah. Okay, cool. So they're gonna give chase. Their orders are to attack Zhou Kang. So, what we're gonna do here. Oh, I'll save it for the next video, actually. But, the plan's gonna be because Zhou Kang has capture, right? So, this is what I was thinking. Zhou Kang has capture. So, we'll just keep trying to bleed out Sun Koyan in these little pitch fights. And um, enabling the capture, you know, capture some officers, execute some officers. Well, that's it, because I don't think they're going to join. I mean, this this is the Liu Biao force. They're pretty much all going to be antagonistic towards me. So, but I have to keep them alive, and that's the risky thing. I have to keep them uh, unrouted throughout the whole fight, no matter what he sends, so... That's going to be one of the things is sending him uh Wow, he's got 12,000 now. He's got more more and more. He has just more officers, and I have less and less. Yeesh. Oh, he doesn't have Snake. I could have sworn he had Snake. Yeesh. Okay, well anyway, let's let's send him out. He might be able to cut her return journey back. Oh wow, look how long it's gonna take to scale up there. Jeez. Maybe there. This is kind of a strange route. So he's going all the way around. I've never seen them try to do that before. It's interesting. 
That's gonna have to be the only way we can beat Liu Zhang is between me and Zhang Lu. Otherwise, we're not just, we just... I just can't beat him. I need him to distract them. The power of Zhang Ren. Well, Alright, guys. That's gonna be it for this one. Um... Man, this this is this is some nice looking stuff right here. I would love to capture Luke Sun. Any of these guys really. So I'll see if I can do that on the next video. I'm gonna I'll deploy some backup and we'll just keep uh keep playing with fire here really. Keep trying to leverage Zhou Kang as long as we can in his capture ability to try to capture some officers of Sun Quayans and you know, weaken him like that over time. And just keep looking for an opportunity to take out Liu Zhang. So, uh, yeah, if you like the comment, make sure you, uh, if you like the content, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, and we'll see how it goes on the next one, guys. See you then.